want to talk about what a Turing machine is. Forget about Turing tests. We'll talk about that other time. That that's barely related. It's just invented an idea invented 14 years later by the guy that invented the Turing machine. Turing machine is much more important, okay? The Turing machine is an abstraction of a computing device that all of our current computers fit, right? And when people prove things about algorithms, which are the better ones or which are the worst ones, they do it based on this Turing machine model. And it's just a machine that reads a tape and it has a head and the head can uh, advance the tape and it can read and write symbols off the tape and there's a special blank symbol right? and it also has a system state so when the tape moves uh, I mean the when the, the head has a chance to process the symbol it has a finite table of transformations right? of things it can do as a result and the things it can do are read, write, erase symbols on the tape and change the computer state the system state the system state in your real computer is your memory alright so basically it's just a tape machine that can spin the tape forward and backward it can read symbols and has a lookup table of things to do based on the symbol it reads and the things it can do are write symbols again and change the state of the system Okay, the CPU in your computer is the head and, the, and its instruction set is this finite, finite transition table. Your system memory is the system state. All right, It's very finite, limited, all goes in discrete steps. The only infinite capability of it is that it can run for an indefinite period of time. So with the question of awareness, the question is can that machine ever be aware? Can it ever generate awareness? Where and how would it generate that awareness? Now, I see how it could generate any kind of behavior. It's, I don't think it's the way that all behavior is generated, but I think it could simulate any kind of behavior. Now, when I drop a ball on the earth or any object and I could be all over and it always goes down to the earth, it makes sense the physics is telling me the earth might be involved. It's not that surprising when I figure out gravitation, I say, oh, it's the mass of the earth that's causing that effect. But if I play a video game on my computer screen and the ball drops, I don't think it's the mass of the earth causing it to drop. The computer can simulate that gravity, but it doesn't mean that gravity itself is that kind of simulation, right? So I do believe a Turing machine in that sense can simulate all kinds of phenomena to an arbitrary degree of precision. Right. But can the phenomena of, of awareness come out of this tape machine? Because this is what all computers are. They're just super fast at reading the tape. They have big states, they have big finite transition tables. And this is what we're working with when we're talking about well, what about the Roomba? Maybe it's conscious. It's running a Turing machine where the finite state is linked to a robot. The, the machine state, the system state is linked to a robot. If there's a five in some part of the state, then it goes, you know, five miles an hour. And if, if it's a 50, it goes 50 miles an hour. And wouldn't that be an exciting Roomba? All right, so that's what a Turing machine is, and all your computers are Turing machines. We often just call them Turing machines, and there's a lot of all the all the uh, computer science that's it's mathematical is based on this, based on this model of the computer. This is what a computer does. They're all basically like this.